Kim Ung Yong, born March 8, 1962, is a South Korean mathematician and civil engineer. During his youth, he was recognized as a child prodigy who held the Guinness World Record for the highest recorded IQ having scored above a 210 on the Stanford Binet Intelligence Scale. Kim Ung Yong was born on March 8, 1962, in Seoul, South Korea. By the time he was a year old, Kim had learned both the Korean alphabet and 1000 Chinese characters by studying the Thousand Character Classic, a 6th century Chinese poem. At 3 years old, he was able to solve calculus problems, and also published a 247-page best-selling book of his essays in English and German, as well as his calligraphy and illustrations. By the age of 5, Kim could speak Korean, English, French, German and Japanese. He also audited a physics class at Hanyang University. At the age of 5, Kim appeared on Fuji Television in Japan and shocked the audience by solving differential equations. Later he appeared on Japanese television again, where he solved complicated differential and integral calculus problems. Then he left Korea and became a researcher at NASA. According to reports, he was working at NASA at the age of 8 and in 1978, his name was recorded in the Guinness Book of World Records for the highest IQ at 210. While his career as an academic genius was soaring to unprecedented heights, Kim Ung Yong decided to return back to South Korea in 1978. He earned his elementary, middle, and high school degrees in just two years. He later enrolled in Chunbuk National University where he studied civil engineering and earned a PhD. As of 2007, he served as adjunct faculty at Chunbuk National University. On March 14, 2014, he became associate professor in Shinhan University, and became vice president of North Gyeonggi Development Research Center. The reason behind the decision of leaving NASA was his growing dissatisfaction with the life of a genius. Kim missed out on many things in life, especially his family and friends. So, he left that life behind in pursuit of his own identity and a normal life. Thus the media labeled him as a failed genius, thinking that his high IQ really didn't help him to determine his successful life and career. According to reports, some controversy exists along with his life story. Kim claims that he studied at the University of Colorado, worked at NASA as a human calculator, and has an IQ of 210. However, there is no evidence to support his claims. There are no records or witnesses to verify his attendance at the University of Colorado. According to immigration records, he has never stayed abroad for long time. Additionally, Kim's father mentioned in an interview that Kim went to Japan just once for Japanese TV show and he homeschooled his son for 10 years. Thanks for watching.